Transfer Deadline Day Live. All the breaking news today. In the order of older to the latest. So, let's get started. Chelsea had a complicated and tense day for Jules Koundé negotiations with Sevilla. Deal on the verge of collapsing many times but today Chelsea will try again with final approach. Sevilla are so strong on their position. Saul deal now completely blocked. Hector Bellerin set to complete his move to Real Betis on. My first shirt was Betis because my father was a fan of the Verde Blanco team. It was difficult for me to support another club. Official and confirmed. Moise Keane joins Juventus on a two years loan move from Everton. Deal now also announced after medical passed yesterday. Updates on Koundé. From Sevilla no opening to Chelsea's offer. The deal is closed for the Sevilla board. Breaking, Roberto Firmino is out for three months, possibly four months with a hamstring injury. Breaking, Edu Gaspar has been relieved of his duties as director of football at Arsenal Football Club. Arsenal will not be looking for a replacement as they believe Mikel Arteta should be the one to determine the long-term strategy of the club, Charles Watts. Aubameyang has gone on international duty as Gabon and Livia are on the UK's amber list. Doesn't look like Nicolas Pepe was called up by Ivory Coast. Daniel James deal has been completed between Leeds and Manchester United, done and confirmed. Permanent move paperwork signed. Everton have never been in the race or hijacking the deal. Official, do John Sterling has signed a new deal with Chelsea until June 2023 and moved on loan to Blackpool. Eduardo Camavinga can be considered a new Real Madrid player. Agreement completed since yesterday, he's not staying at Rennes on loan as Ancelotti wants Camavinga at Real Madrid immediately. Paperwork's signed, today it's contract and announcement time. West Ham confirmed the signing of Nikola Vlasic from CSKA Moscow. Signs a five-year deal with an option for another. Fee is 30 million euros with another 9 million euros in add-ons. Juventus have confirmed they have sold Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United for 15 million euros plus 8 million euros in add-ons payable over five years. Leicester City have completed the agreement with RB Leipzig for Adamola Lukman on loan. Medical and paperworks today. Official announcement expected also for Dennis Prare to Torino on loan with buy option 15 million euros. Roberto Firmino to have further assessment on hamstring injury but initial diagnosis is that it is not serious. After his move to Everton was blocked, Ainsley Maitland-Niles has been told he won't be training with the Arsenal first team. Official, Jordan Henderson has signed a new contract with Liverpool keeping him at the club until 2025. Preview. Aubameyang has no plans to leave Arsenal. Currently on international duty with Gabon and won't be leaving unless an astronomical offer comes in. Similar story for Lacazette who looks set to see out his contract at the club. Done deal, Manchester United have confirmed the signing of Cristiano Ronaldo on a two-year contract with the option to extend for a further year. Exclusive, Arsenal working on deal to sign Takahiro Tomiyasu from Bologna, talks underway but depends on other movements, 22 Yo Japan International can play right back plus centre back. Has been on AFC radar all summer. Barcelona are in advanced negotiations with Edinson Cavani and are working with Muffs. It is not a simple operation and there is still a lot of work to do. Ainsley Maitland-Niles plans to meet with Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta this afternoon and request he be allowed to join Everton. Everton FC offer is loan plus option to buy. Arsenal FC must decide whether to sanction 24 years exit or keep unhappy player. Medical ongoing for Rhys Nelson as new Feyenoord player on loan from Arsenal. Paperworks have been completed yesterday night. Nelson will sign a new deal with Arsenal until June 2023 before joining final. Arsenal are very close to agreeing a fee with Bologna for defender Takahiro Tomiyasu. The player will complete his medical in Italy ahead of the move, which has moved very quickly this morning. Barcelona has Edinson Cavani's acceptance but MUFC are not letting him out. Arsenal are hoping to complete the signing of Japan defender Takahiro Tomiyasu from Bologna on. Takahiro Tomiyasu to complete his medical in Italy ahead of move from Bologna to Arsenal. This deal has moved very quickly this morning. Arsenal to fly out doctor from medical department this afternoon. Clubs are very close, 90%, to agreeing fee. 
Arsenal believe Takahiro Tomiyasu can operate as a hybrid defender, playing on the right-hand side of a back four, but helping him build up play in a three. Arteta is an admirer of the player and is pushing internally for this deal to be closed. Takahiro Tomiyasu to Arsenal, agreement reached and here we go. Personal terms agreed and Bologna will receive 20 million euros plus 3 million euros add-ons. Medical during the afternoon and then official announcement. Here we go. Tottenham's first choice right back was Takahiro Tomiyasu but the player preferred a move to 20th placed Arsenal with no European football and successive 8th finishes. We are gargantuan. Everton have offered a two-year loan with an option to buy for Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Breaking Chelsea's attempt to sign Saul Niguez has collapsed. The deal is completely blocked at this current time. Saul deal since yesterday night is completely blocked, no green light from Atletico Madrid. Chelsea are convinced it's gonna definitely collapse. Nothing agreed for Jules Koundé yet too. Hector Bellerin has agreed a move to Real Betis. A loan with an option to buy. Breaking, Callum Hudson-Odoi will not join Borussia Dortmund this window. Chelsea won't let him leave. Juventus are not planning any move for Miralem Pjanic, Axel Witzel, Eden Hazard or any other player. They're happy with Moise Keane as last signing. Olympique Lyon are in talks to sign Jerome Boateng as free agent. Direct contacts with his agent. Sevilla and Hertha Berlin are not working on it. Edinson Cavani will not join Barcelona. He's not leaving Manchester United in the final hours of the market, confirmed by all parties involved. Sevilla expecting three departures today according to the director. In the last hours Madrid are also interested in Koundé. Sevilla sporting director, Monchi. The decision that Jules Koundé did not travel to Elche has been made by all parties. Jules is a magnificent professional, a young boy, but he is not a superhero. Sevilla sport director Monchi, Jules Koundé has chances to leave the club if some club will pay the release clause. Chelsea made a bid last week but we didn't like it. Koundé release clause is around 75 euros per 80 meters. Sevilla have no intention to negotiate. Sevilla sporting director, Monchi on Jules Koundé. We raised the possibility that he would not travel if he was not 100% in the match and he asked us for a little time. Jules Koundé from Seville to Chelsea could still happen today but there has to compromise on transfer fee. As Sky reported last week, Sevilla want close to 80 million euros release clause. Chelsea offered 50 million euros. Player with France squad. He wants to move to Chelsea. Sevilla sporting director, Monchi on Jules Koundé. Everyone defends their interests. Both the club and I have respected the player and Chelsea. We have responded politely and nimbly in the times we were in. I don't want the Sevillians to report Chelsea's Twitter account. Each one has defended his own. Sevilla director Monchi, if there isn't an offer which we feel we can reinvest well, then it won't be accepted. Koundé knows that and he's a fantastic professional. We had a deadline on August 20th but we received the bid on August 25th. And we turned it down. Koundé brought forward his trip one day because he had to concentrate with the French national team and when he did not play in Elche he took the opportunity to leave earlier. No one went on vacation. People will see what has happened normal and understand it. At the club we lived it with Danny Alves, whose position was more aggressive, and nobody holds a grudge against him. Jules Koundé from Sevilla to Chelsea could still happen today, but there has to compromise on transfer fee. He wants to join the Blues, Sevilla want close to 80 million euros. Koundé's clause never went up to 90 million euros. It has always been 80 million euros. Juventus have completed the signing of Mohamed Ihateran from PSV, done deal and confirmed. He's leaving on loan with Sampdoria pushing. Man City have been in constant contact with Dortmund over the last few hours for Erling Haaland, there is confidence for an agreement to come soon, reportedly Erling Haaland has agreed personal terms until 2025 with wage to be around £500,000 weekly plus a sign-on bonus of £7 million and agent charges to around the figure of £25 million. Dortmund are asking the for a fee range around £170 million and City are as close as £150 million with add-ons taking it close to the valuation of Dortmund. Progress is real fast keeping the deadline hour in sight.
some definite progress to be seen in two to three hours. Williams agent Kia Jorabshian on TalkSport. He went there Arsenal, for the project and the project wasn't there. Jerome Boateng joins Olympique Lyon as free agent. Contract agreed and medical completed few minutes ago. Done deal and confirmed. Chelsea have achieved the main goal this summer, signing a striker in Romelu Lukaku. Anything else was a bonus. The Jules Koundé deal is much like the Ashraf Hakimi deal, with Chelsea deeming the signing as too expensive. There is no alternative for Jules Koundé from Chelsea. They do not want to sign a second-rate option. Via Nizar Kinsella. Breaking, Jules Koundé to Chelsea is getting more and more complicated. Via Fabrizio Romano. Chelsea didn't like how Sevilla were dictating the deal for Jules Koundé. It is unlikely Koundé will sign. Via Nizar Kinsella. Spanish source, Chelsea need to pay the release clause for Jules Koundé or they'll have to piss off back to London. Justin, Jorge Mendes is working on a deal to take Anthony Marshall to PSG, if Mauro Icardi leaves. However the deal is extremely complicated. Anthony Marshall, keep, loan or sell. Justin, Cavani has accepted Barcelona's proposal to join on a two-year contract. Negotiations now advanced with Manchester United, who will accept a 5 million euros fee to part ways with Cavani. Gerardrome Row. Barcelona are negotiating with Atletico Madrid over a swap deal involving Joao Felix and Antoine Griezmann, sources have confirmed to ESPN. Saul Niguez is keen for Atletico Madrid to let him join Chelsea on loan, which has kept talks alive despite the deal previously stalling. Via Matt Lord ET. Edinson Cavani will not join Barcelona. He's not leaving Manchester United in the final hours of the market, confirmed by all parties involved. Breaking, Chelsea are actively working to sign Atletico Madrid's Saul Niguez on a season-long loan with an option to buy. Via David Ornstein. Eduardo Camavinga has just signed his contract as new Real Madrid player. Paperworks between Real and Ren were already signed in the night for €31 million Euros plus add-ons. Here we go confirmed. Emerson Royal has signed his contract as new Tottenham player. He's joining on permanent move for €25 million Euros after agreement reached with Barker, and medical completed too. Arsenal and Bologna have completed paperwork for the transfer of Takahiro Tomiyasu. Edu Gaspar was so fast to complete the deal and reach an agreement with both player and club. Fabrizio Romano. Arsenal are not interested in signing Husum Aoua in these final hours. There are currently no talks with Alfa Aoua. Arsenal are only focused on Tomiyasu deal to be announced medical today, and outgoings, as Bellerin to real bet is still to be resolved. Arsenal are in talks over deal that sees Runa Alex Runarsson move to Belgian club O Leuven. Real Betis have reached an agreement with Arsenal to sign Hector Bellerin on loan, no option to buy. Working on final details of personal terms, 26 Yo taking a pay cut to get career back on track. Medical in London this afternoon. There's nothing between Barcelona and Saul. Chelsea are the only club now working again to sign Saul on loan with buy option. The player wants to leave, negotiations ongoing with Atletico Madrid. Atletico have to find a replacement now to complete Saul deal. Sven Botman is staying at Lille and no way for severe, Koundé deal still totally blocked, and Wolves, after official proposal turned down three days ago. Once La Liga approves the transfer, Hector Bellerin's loan to Real Betis will be completed. Hector Bellerin has completed his medical ahead of a proposed loan move to Real Betis. The deal is now waiting on La Liga approval. David Ornstein. Hector Bellerin has completed medical ahead of proposed loan move to Real Betis. Deal now waiting on La Liga approval, if when that arrives the 26 year Spain international right backs move from Arsenal, no option to buy, can be closed. Tomiyasu will fly to London on September 8, after his international duty with Japan. Newcastle United have completed the signing of 19-year-old striker Santiago Munoz. Official, Barcelona have confirmed Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba have taken salary reductions in order for the registration of Sergio Aguero in the Liga and for the club to extend the fair play limit. Burnley are considering a late loan move for Ross Barkley. A deal is difficult, but Chelsea want to offload. There is nothing concrete, at this stage.
Official and confirmed. Daniel James joins Leeds from Manchester United on a permanent move for 28 metres. Deal signed and completed. PSG are leading the race to sign Nuno Mendes. Talks to find the solution, Pablo Sarabia could be included in the deal with Sporting CP. Man City are not intention to pay full 40 million euros. Could be a loan swap deal for Nuno and Sarabia, as per at Hugo Guillemet. Pele to Cristiano Ronaldo on Instagram. There is no better feeling than conquering the world and returning home. Always be happy, Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo's reply. Always great to return to a home where we were once happy. Thank you so much for your support, Pele. West Ham are closing on Alex Kral deal. Confirmed. Spartak chief Evgeny Melizhikov confirms, Kral is leaving. We had different options for him, Atalanta. We've agreed on all terms with West Ham, via Ryan Taylor Sport. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for up-to-date news from all around the globe. Thanks for watching, it was latest football news daily, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.